You may say, Michael, what's your problem? How did you get on this kick? And the question was raised, is it possible to provide reality-based comfort? That was the question. We've all been to the memorial services where the cliches are flying and uh, magic and make-believe and, and, and the Hallmark cards are, folks are taking notes. And Aunt Susie's in a better place now. Grandma and Grandpa are together again. And of course, the most offensive one to me personally uh, was uh, when the individual officiating the service happened to mention that he planned on going fishing again with the deceased in a, in a special bass boat. But when the question was raised, is it possible to have reality-based comfort or to receive reality-based comfort, I immediately said, yes. That's the only authentic comfort there is. Shortly thereafter, our 24-year-old son was diagnosed with cancer and began a two-year journey culminating in his death. And I was suddenly enrolled in the advanced curriculum of reality-based comfort, and that curriculum continues today. Reality is our friend. That you and I are being invited to a very special moment in human history. We are being invited to engage in a scary but creative process as we learn the new language. And where are we going to learn this new language? You see, the purpose of an effective myth is to deliver us to a place of no myths. The purpose of an effective story is to deliver us to a place of no language, to a place beyond language, to a place of encounter where you and I have an opportunity to encounter our highest function. Now, highest functions, function as a human being is the ability to grasp and encounter and become personally entangled with the infinite. You and I have the capacity to grasp the infinite. And as we put ourselves in that encounter again and again, we will learn the new language. It will come. It will take time. It may not show up in my lifetime, probably not. But the hour to begin the journey is now.